AIADMK Chief J.J. Lalitha today called TMC Chief Mamata Banerjee to wish her luck for the upcoming Lok Sabha elections. The move comes yesterday after Mamata indicated that she would be happy to accept Jaya as the new Prime Minister after the polls. Mamata. Her front idea was not prompted by BJD. All along our president has uh, given statement and made it clear that we will not have any alliance adjustment with any political parties who are there in UPA or NDA. All right, that was... Uh a BJD leader talking about uh, how Naveen Patnaik also doesn't want to uh, become a part of the third front. Mamata clearly warming up to the AIA DMK chief after the latter made it clear that she did not want an alliance with the left front, front third front. And it's not just Jaya who said that. BJD chief Naveen Patnaik also keeping his options open. Let's get in a word uh, from uh, Shresha who's joining us live from Chennai this uh, afternoon. Shresha, clearly Naveen Patnaik and Jalilatata both keeping their options open, not wanting to firm up uh, an alliance with the third front. Well, that's that because after Jalilatata snapping ties with uh, the left parties on uh, compromising on the number of uh, seats that they would be allotting for the left, this comes quite after that. And of course, uh, uh, Mamta Banerjee wants Jalilatata to keep in her good books, of course, uh, because Jalilatata now have been campaigning that she will get all 40 seats and of course uh, now she has decided to go alone. So of course there is no people arrangement uh, as far as alliance is concerned in Tamil Nadu. Of course there will be some uh, major postful alliance depending on the number of seats the ADMK will be getting. But this time ADMK has uh, gone ahead to go all alone this, uh, uh, this uh, uh, Lok Sabha elections. Though they have been uh, uh, strong uh, alliances and strong opposition in, uh, uh, in Tamil Nadu itself. Well, BJP has, uh, uh, is going ahead with DMDK and MDMK, all the Dravidian parties. But the, the ADMK has uh, decided to go all alone. So of course, yes, Jalta is keeping her options open to see the number of seats that you should be getting so that she can play a major role, uh, uh, you know, as far as uh, the centre is concerned. Absolutely. And Shresha Jalalita has not really shied away from making her prime ministerial ambitions clear. She's also listed it out pretty clearly in the AIA, AIA DMK's manifesto. Well, that's right, because when, when, you, when we talk about ADMK manifesto, there were two sections in the ADMK manifesto, one for the state's development, one for the centre's development. So it's one of the first times that a party, the local party, has come out with a manifesto that clearly talks about a lot of central issues, from black money to a uh, coal scam to a uh, 2G scam. There are a lot of things that Jairata have uh, focused in this uh, particular manifesto, and also in elections campaign. She has done, uh, at least, she was the first one to start with the election campaign. So she had, uh, she did not, uh, she did not leave a uh, stone untone to attack the centre, uh, Congress, and of course, uh, the other political parties uh, for, uh, uh, for for leaving the uh, state and centre like this and for not taking enough action, be the fuel prices, a lot of issues that she had attacked and especially all the centre issues that uh, right. that is looked into as far as uh, her speech is concerned. So this one very clear thing that of course Jairata is yes, looking at, uh, uh, you know, at the Prime Minister's ambitions of course. Uh, Alright, thanks so much Risha for that update. We'll continue tracking developments on to our...